Today I want to talk about the water injection system on a, an older jet boat like a uh, 1976 Phantom jet boat like mine with a 455. You know, you want the water spraying out the exhaust and the uh, stock options for that are pressure control valves, T-valves, and they're all quite expensive. And they rely on water pressure, which kind of sucks because, you know, water pressure is a little bit tricky on the lake. So I designed a different system and it's uh, electrically controlled using parts you could buy at the hardware store. So check it out. So here I used a, a brake lamp switch. I made a special bracket and I attached it to my intake and uh, the throttle hits the brake lamp switch when it's fully rested. And I had to put a good return spring on there and I had to change the spring inside the uh, brake lamp switch because it was too strong. So I stretched it out, cut it in half, put it back in there and I actually made it weaker so that the throttle return would shut all the way. So you can't really see it here. Um, so on this engine, the uh, thermostat housing has two lines and they used to go to the back of the exhaust. It's pretty inefficient and let too much water out. So I took the two lines off the thermostat housing and then ran them around in a loop and two into one with a T and then I ran the T down, th that one line from the T, to a uh, water-controlled solenoid valve from a dishwasher off, $9 off Amazon, electrically controlled, 12 volt, on, off. And uh, after that, I ran it down to another T and split it off to each side for the water injection ports. And right here you can see the... Uh, the 12 volt solenoid, the 12 volt on off water solenoid that I put in there and I'll put an arrow on it if I can. Uh, that was $9 off Amazon. It's a dishwasher part made for, a, I think a GE dishwasher. So 12 volts, boom. Solenoid opens, 12 volts not, solenoid closes. And that is uh, dependent on power and it shuts off completely. So it only turns on when I hit the throttle. I let off the throttle, it turns off. All right, so the water injection solenoid that turns on and off runs down to an additional T valve. Each side splits off to each manifold. I did have to put a one-way pressure check valve on one side doesn't matter what side you can use two put one on each side of the t-valve but i only needed one and then i ran the 5 16th line to uh uh needle seat uh valves i got those brass needle seat valves on each side and you can dial in how much water comes out of the uh, 5 16th fuel line so you can really adjust how much spray comes out the back of the exhaust and you want a fine spray you don't want to you don't want a ton of water coming out of there you just want a nice fine spray Maybe a couple drips of water, but mostly just a fine spray. And you can adjust each side individually. I need to be on the lake on my boat to do this. I can't do it with my garden hose. I don't have enough pressure at my house to... But when you're on the lake, you can do it on the lake and just get each side dialed in to where it's not pumping out water. Just put it on a nice mist with a couple water drops. All right, and the last thing I want to talk about, uh, this water rail you see here in this picture... That's a quarter inch brake line that I got from the hardware store and I had to flare all the, uh, all the pieces and connectors. But I, if I had known better, I would have used 3 sixteenths because on the rewarder headers for this old, this old boat, those uh, nuts on the headers are 3 sixteenths. And I could have bought 3 sixteenths, but I didn't know, so I bought quarter inch. And I had to customize the 3 16 connectors on every pipe you don't have to do that do 3 16 it's all uh, master pipe thread 3 16 uh, compression flares and make your own line it's real easy it bends real easy with your hand even I made that by hand on each side didn't take that long and if I would have used all 3 16 it would have been cheaper I didn't wouldn't have to modify the the nuts so what I did was I modified the nuts on top of the quarter inch line. I had to drill out a little bit more of the brass and put the quarter inch line through it and modify it down to 3 16 You can do it with 3 16 brake parts line. 
right from the hardware store, the auto parts store, 316 brake lines work perfect. 